Hey everybody, my name is Isaac and today I'm going to be showing you how to make this condensation fling in Houdini 17.5 with the new condensation shelf tool that is done through pop fluids. I did make a longer, more in-depth, hour-long tutorial, but today's video is just going to be a TLDW, a too long, didn't watch kind of version. So it's just going to be a summary of what this big, long tutorial is. So we're going to jump right in and drop down a file node. And we're going to go pretty fast. And we're going to go in here and just grab the can. And it's going to be huge just off the bat. So we're going to drop down a transform node right after that. And put this down to 0.1. That's a better size. Cool. So right after that, we are going to drop down a color node. And this is just for me. You don't have to actually do this. It doesn't actually change anything about the sim. It just makes it easier to see what you're doing. And then after that, we're going to drop down a null. And we're just going to name this can out. And then view it and hit L to clean that up. Cool. So we're going to name this can. And that is it for that. We're going to go over to the particle fluids. And over here, you can see the new condensation. It says select the object. So we select it, and we hit Enter. And it's going to generate the nodes it needs. So it made us adopt auto adopt network and a fluid particles. So we're going to go back into the can, and we're going to see a bunch of new nodes. We're going to hit L to lay them out better. And then right away, we're just going to dig into this droplets points and start changing it. So the force total count, we're going to take that way up to 20,000. And then we're going to go down to relax iterations and double that and take the scale radius and cut that in half. Then we're going to go to the emission frame and this max value, we're going to delete the expression in there and put that just down to five. Then we're going to go over to fade emissions and we're going to take the out frames and cut that down to two and then just kind of clamp these guys in. Great. So now the next one we can go over to is the create source points. And this is by default up there. We're going to put that to 2,500. And same thing here, double that, cut that in half. And now we go down to the transfer emissions. Going to make that this top model and bring that guy down just to 0.08. And that is everything you will need to change over there. Now we go to transform. And we're going to turn off the sim part of the brain. We're going to go up to frame 15. And I'll click on the rotation to set a keyframe. Going to go up to frame 28, 360. So a full rotation in there. Alt click. And then we can just preview that. Looks great. So that is everything you'll need to do in here. Going to turn the brain back on, jump out, and dig into this auto dop. So the first one you're going to want to mess with is pop fluid. I'm going to turn this off just for speed um, and take this way down to 0 0.04. The next thing you're going to want to do is bring the stiffness up to 1,000 and cut this, or not cut, but bring it up to 0 0.01. And that is all you're going to need to do in the um, particle surface, okay, or the uh, pop fluids the adhesion force. So we're going to bring this first value, max distance down to 0.4, and bring the strength just to 6. And that's that. Then we're going to go up to frame 16. And this is going to be animated. So we're going to click, hold click on both of those, then go right to frame 19, change this max to 10, and bring down the multiplier down to 1. I'll click both of those. And that is all you need to do there. Then. We're going to go over to this gravity and first just set always. And then we're going to go to frame five and bring this down to negative 0.25 and alt click, go up to frame eight, double that, alt click. Then you're going to go up to frame 16, and bring it back down to negative 2.5. And then 19, you're going to bring it back to where it was, 4.5. Um, and that's why you need set always, because you're changing. You, you keep changing it. OK, then we're going to go up to this can. Going to go here and bring that to you know, 0.01. I just know that that's what we need to do. And use 
deforming geometry. Those are all correct. So that's everything in there. And now once we've done that, we're gonna go collisions, ground plane, and just turn it off, don't need to see it, and L, and it's in there, great. So now we're into our mesher, and we haven't even seen the particles yet, but I'll do that right after we set up all of these. So go in here and take that voxel scale down to 0.5 and cut this influence scale in half and turn on limit, refinement, iterations. Now we're going to object merge, our can back into the scene. We're gonna go here to can, can out, accept. We can see it there when we highlight it. And then we're going to now do a from polygons. If I can type it, from polygons. And we're gonna copy and link up our droplets there. And then we'll select both of them and bring this to zero, zero, 001. Great. Now that we have that, we're gonna start messing with this. We're gonna add a reshape and we're gonna erode it in a little bit, but just by one. It's at a dilate right now, we're going to erode. Now, after you do that, you're gonna give it a little smooth, B2B -B smooth. And it's gonna take a little bit of time to think and bring that way down just one. So a little tiny bit of smoothing. Now you can combine them, the B2B combine. Before you link anything up, turn that off and set this to SDF difference. So that's that. Bring this in the left side, bring your can in the right side, and that will be running great. Now we're going to take the VDB smooth and bring that in right afterwards. And then just cut this iterations down to two. Then right after that, we are going to convert it back to polygons so that you can get a mesh. And then we're gonna drop down to null just to clean it all up. So this is just gonna be droplets out. Cool. And tick that on, L to clean up your nodes a little bit. And we're gonna jump out and we're gonna jump this all the way back to the beginning. It's gonna have to think a little bit. Turn back on the sim brain and let it go. Yep, great. So that's, you know, this is exactly how it should look. And it's gonna grow up until frame five, just how the scene is built. And then we set that spin to happen on 15 till 28. And then the droplets should rest at about, be done moving at about, you know, 60. So, um, I mean, it's, it's pretty fast. We're already up to frame five. It's gonna bog down way more back there. So I'm not gonna send the whole thing. Okay, so that will give you this. It will grow and it will fling. So if you need the, um, to dig into any of, you know, the reasoning behind why I was kind of just entering those so you're not just kind of pushing buttons and not know what's, knowing what's happening, that's all in this video. It's really long. So I wanted to kind of make this top few ones so you can kind of, you know, get the idea down and see, you know, what I'm changing and then kind of go in here if you have any questions. If you have any questions even after this one, feel free to leave a comment there or um, you can follow me on Twitter at Isaac Terex. And I, I'll respond, you know, is right away. And also you can DM me or, you know, uh, comment on anything on here. I'm also at Isaac Terex on Instagram. And uh, follow me and I will be posting, you know, more things like this. I'm going to try to make more videos based on what people are asking for. Um, a lot of these Houdini Sims have been uh, highly requested for more than just a, you know, screen recording breakdown. They want me to kind of explain why I was doing things. Same for some of these guys. So I'm going to try to be tackling more of them um, in the uh, upcoming months. So keep an eye out for that. You can subscribe here to my YouTube channel. This is where I'll be posting all of this stuff. Not Vimeo. Uh, Vimeo might get, you know, some 
of these TLDWs that too long didn't watch. So um, if you search on here, uh, yep, this is me. So um, these are some of my Houdini stuffs on here. So I might be posting some of the these five to you know ten minute breakdowns, but um, none of the hour ones. The hour ones will the deep dives will always be on YouTube. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, I hope you found this helpful. If you did, maybe share it to a friend um, and leave a comment, a like. Those all help. Yeah, thank you.